Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a different location because we moved. Um, but anyways, today I am going to be touching up this hair because as you can see, it's been raining and now my hair just gets all curly and frizzy and a mess. But anyways, besides the point, my roots have like grown in so much and you can see, you know, Obviously, my bun's a lot lighter, and I like to do cap highlights, which everyone finds so interesting. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a video of me touching that up today because just doing regular cap highlights for the first time is a lot different than having to touch up your cap highlights when the rest of your hair is already light because if you just put like the bleach all over this part of your hair too your hair will fall out so you have to make sure that you're just doing the roots so yeah it's a little bit tricky and i'll be honest i'm not the best at it i'm not a hairstylist or anything but you know it's enough for me and it works for me and i like it so i continue to do it but anyways that's good what today's video is going to be about so if that's something that you want to watch then keep on watching Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and show you which one I use because I already have like several caps and several tools that I use. So I don't need to buy the same box that like comes with the caps and all that again because I don't need it and it's like more expensive. So I just get the L'Oreal Ferrera. It's kind of hard to see because it's like reflective. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I get. And... Actually, this is my first time trying this one. I still usually get the L'Oreal for rare. I cannot pronounce that. You know what I'm saying. Um, but this one is actually for like darker hair. So the one that I usually get, it's like the same thing, but it's usually for, um, I think like blonde to like medium brown hair. And this one says, um, if I can find it, it says lightens up to eight levels. Where did I see it? Oh yeah, ideal for darkest brown to light brown natural hair, which I don't know if you can see, obviously, but my natural hair is pretty dark. Like I wouldn't say it's black, but it's a really dark brown. And then also when my hair, natural hair grows out, not only is it a dark brown, but it kind of has like an ashy, not ashy, but like a, a reddish type tone, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anyways, and this one says it's good for like all hair textures, which I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is curly. I mean, it's not like kinky curls like her hair, but it's definitely curly. So anyways, this is what it looks like on the side, you know, looks like it can lighten a good bit like it says. But yeah, this is what I am going to be using today. And I'm just going to pull my caps, my highlights through my cap and then just use this to bleach it if that makes sense so yeah okay so while i am taking down this rat's nest i guess i'll go ahead and say too since i usually get the other one that's like not meant for my dark of hair it usually turns out a little bit like yellowy orange and um you know usually these boxes come with like a purple like shampoo and conditioner or whatever to tone it and it usually is like a purple bleach you know to help but it still ends up usually being a little bit yellow orange so what i do is after i you know do my highlights and all that i usually go back with my own personal purple shampoo and conditioner and um i usually put it on my hair dry Wow, looks like a mess. But I usually put it on my hair dry um, after I've done everything and let it sit in there um, in my dry hair for like, I don't know, as long as I can, like at least 15 minutes, but usually longer the better, you know. And then, um, you know, I'll wash my hair like normal and still use, you know, another purple conditioner in the shower. And right now I've been using um, the Heritage one, the Heritage brand one, and I really like it. So if you're looking for a good, cheaper uh, purple conditioner, I would definitely recommend that one. But yeah, so that's what I usually do. And it usually tones down the yellow and orange enough for what I want because, you know, I'm not looking for like a super blonde head. I, you know, I like this color. I want it to be more of, you know, like a highlight look and just be, you know, like a lighter brown look, like with just like a fewer 
blonde pieces. I don't really know if you can see it that well, but yeah, so it does what I want and what I'm going for. So I'm hoping this one's not going to make it too blonde because it is made for darker hair. You know, I've never really used it before, but we'll see. Um, I don't think it'll be terrible. I mean, it's going into summer anyway. So if it is a little bit lighter, it'll just look like, you know, sun bleached hair. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so my hair is all brushed out now, but I figured I would go ahead and give a little like 360 of the before. So here we go. And I guess I'll show you too. Um, I only like to do the top of my head and um, one to kind of like preserve the life of my hair and two because I like when I put my hair up I like for the bottom to be like my natural hair color or I like doing a lot of braids and stuff and I think it's cool when the underneath is like really dark and then like it braids with the blonde pieces and I don't know it just looks like a little swirl I guess so I sh I'll show you too if you can see like the underneath of my hair is still my natural color, which is intended to be that way. And so that way when I pull it forward, it looks really light, but then if you pull it open, it's dark. I, I like it that way. So I'm gonna try and keep it <laughs> that way, but just, you know, touch up the roots. All right, so now that I look like Little Red Riding Hood, I have the cap on and I just went ahead and parted my hair down the middle and then kind of brushed like the sides back if that makes sense. I know I've said that a lot through this video, but I don't know. Anyways, this is what the back looks like. Not that it really matters, but anyways, so I have this little tool and if you've seen my other video of me highlighting my hair with a cap, you'll see that I've talked about this before. And this is literally the same cap that I used last time. You can kind of see where the bleach, like see how those circles are supposed to be black, but Anyways, it works, you know, so I'm gonna keep using it until I can. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like two sides. There's like a smaller side and like a bigger side. So if you want, you know, like chunkier highlights, you can use the bigger one to pull more hair out. You know, if you want more smaller, you can use the smaller. Um, I think last time I said that I was gonna alternate, but I, I didn't. I found that it actually works best to just do the smaller one. And if you wanna pull more hair, you can go back and do it a second time. So that's what I'm gonna do um, today. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and just kind of speed this up though, because it honestly is a long process to sit here and pull through every single one of the holes. So yeah. Alrighty, so literally almost like an hour later, I'm telling you, it's such a long process, but here is what I have pulled out on this side. So a good bit, honestly. I did a little bit more this time than I usually do, just because like I said earlier, it is summer, well, about to be. And so, you know, I don't mind going a little bit lighter, but yeah, so that's how much I pulled out from this side. So like that and then same thing on this side oops brought 
out that much. So like I said, more than I usually do, but not crazy. And you know, I just kind of used one of these mirrors to like look at the back and everything and see if I got what I wanted from the back, but I guess I can show you. So yeah, that's what I did for this. Now the hard part of just trying to get the roots of all this, especially the back of my head because I'm doing this by myself. So, okay, so I'm gonna give a little tip since, you know, I'm just like a professional at doing this now. So I'm gonna pull all of the hair that I pulled through the cap forward, and then I'm gonna gather all the hair that's still left in the back, back here, and I'm gonna put it in a bun. So I just have like a hair tie that I don't care about in case some bleach gets on it. And I'm gonna put it in a bun. And then, you know those just like cheap tank tops that you get from Walmart? Well, I took one of those and cropped it because you know, I wanted to actually wear it as like a crop top. And I save the, the like bottom portion that I cut off and I'm going to wrap this around my hair because you know I'm not going to use this for anything else and so that way if while I'm doing my hair if any bleach gets on it it doesn't matter and that way it won't bleach my bun back here because obviously you know you don't want bleach to get on the part that you didn't pull through and that's the best way that I've come up with and it works so yeah All right, so ignore the fact that my hair is like a frizzy mess still. It's still raining and humid and gross. But anyways, I like kind of semi brushed it out and it's like 95% dry, but here is the final product. So I definitely like this one better. The one that's meant for dark hair, obviously I it would do better. But yeah, I definitely like this one better. It's not as orange and I didn't even have to do like a, a purple conditioner on dry hair treatment or any of that. I literally just rinsed it out. I didn't even shampoo my hair, but I literally just rinsed it out and then put um, purple conditioner in it for like five minutes while I like showered and shaved and everything, washed it out. And this is where I'm at and I actually really like it. So yeah. This is what it looks like from the front. You can see the underneath is still dark, like I like it. And then I'll go ahead and show you the back. So yeah, overall I am really happy with it and yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.